Hello guys, this is Mauro from Printfotech.com and on this video we'll look at the steps to download and install the latest inside a preview of Windows 10. Oftentimes I get asked how to download a preview of Windows 10. So I just wanted to create a video to answer that question. Before proceeding, I cannot stress enough saying that this is not the final version of Windows 10. Downloading and installing these builds may cause problems and even data lost. You shouldn't use them on your primary machine. These builds are meant to be installed on a spare computer or virtual machine. Use these instructions at your own risk. With all that info out of the way, let's go through the steps. Open settings, click on update and security, and then go to the Windows Insider program. Here, click the uh, Get Started button. If you haven't already linked your Microsoft account, you'll be asked to do so. So click the uh, Link an Account. Connect your Microsoft account. And from the drop-down menu, select Active Development of Windows and click Confirm. Using the drop-down menu, select Fast. This option will get you updates roughly every two weeks. If you use the uh, Slow option, it could take months before you can test new features coming on a future update of Windows 10. But remember that using the fast option, updates could be less stable and you may encounter more issues. Now, click Confirm, read the Microsoft statement, and click Confirm again. Now, click the Restart Now button to apply the changes. After restarting your PC, open Settings, go to Update and Security, and on Windows Update, now click the Check for Updates option, which should now download and install automatically the latest Windows 10 Insider Preview available through the Fast Ring. As you can see, at this point in time, my computer is getting Windows 10 Insider Preview 17.0.83. Once the download is complete, you will be asked to restart your computer to complete the installation and everything will happen automatically. However, just be aware that it could take a day or two until a new preview is available for your device. It is worth noting that after you are using a Windows Insider preview build, if you want to go back to the stable version, you will need to reinstall Windows 10 or you can use the option to gratefully opt out, but you will still have to continue getting builds until the next version of Windows 10 releases. For example, now that I am on the uh, build 1703, if I wanted to opt out, I will have to open the uh, settings up, go to update and security, and on the Windows Insider program, I will click the uh, Stop Insider Preview Bills and then select the uh, Keep Giving Me Bills until the next Windows release. And that's how you download and install new preview bills of Windows 10 on your computer. Another way you can use to go back to the stable version of Windows 10 is to make a backup of your computer before going through all these steps. I'll be leaving a link to a video that shows you how to create a full backup of your computer in the video comments so you can learn how to do that. And that's all there is to it. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.